Hi, I'm Kelly. Hi, I'm Kelly. Hi, I'm Kelly from Kelly. Jones. Welcome to my YouTube videos where I'll be sharing free tutorials and interesting wire wrapping techniques. I'd really love it if you'd hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments below if there's any techniques you would like me to cover. And thanks everybody. I'll see you there. Hi, I'm Kelly from Kelly Jones Jewelry. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this pendant. It's the pendant to the earrings I made in the last video. As always, there's a list in the description below of everything you'll need to make this, along with all my usual links. We've got Facebook, Instagram and Etsy. So to make this pendant you'll need 1.2mm wire, that's my frame wire, and you can use 1.5mm if you want to. 1.2 is 16 gauge and 1.5 is 14 gauge. Um, I've cut one length at 7 inches. You'll need 0.8mm wire which is 20 gauge and I've cut 9 lengths at 7 inches which is 18 centimetres. The uh, 0.315mm weaving wire which is 28 gauge, you'll need about 300 centimetres and I've wound mine onto a bobbin and um, this is Bobby's Bobbin by Beadsmith if you don't have one of these don't worry if you haven't got one I'd really recommend you get one because they are really really useful really handy, I don't know how I cope before I got one of those so we're going to need some small beads so I've got three um, little seed beads, they're 2mm and two 3mm beads. For tools, I've got my pliers, round nose pliers, cutters, wire cutters and nylon pliers. If you don't have nylon pliers, don't worry. I just like having these handy for uh, flattening weaves and straightening wires. All my tools at the moment are Tronics. I, I don't share links anymore, but I have put a list in the description below of what all these tools are if you just want to have a look and check it out so take your frame wire which is the 1.2 millimeter wire which is 16 gauge and find the center point of the wire i'm just going to put a bend in the wire whoop i might need it just a little bit sharper than that And then we're going to shape it around. I'm going to be using one of these. Um, I bought a ring mantle recently and you could buy it in steps. And I bought lots of different sizes for different rings and bracelets and that. So I'm going to shape this around here. If you don't have one of these, you can just use your fingers to shape it. But um, it's, so it's going to be... Oh, this is 25 that. millimeter, just to give you a, an idea. So I normally shape these with my hands, so I'm going to be really awkward with this at the moment. It is handy and it just makes the shaping a little bit quicker. I would normally fiddle around with this for ages trying to get the shape right. So there we go, that's the shape you want. So we're going for a circle and we want this nice peak at the bottom there. So where the wires cross at the top, we're going to bring them up, but we're going to kind of scoop them up rather than bend them. We're going to scoop them, and this one, I'm going to scoop it the other way. So the wires are crossing over each other. They're twisting around each other. So now I'm going to take these wires over and around to the back. I'll do the same with that one. Try and match them up as you go. I'm doing it quite quickly for the video, but take your time and match those shapes up. So I'm looking at the back. I'm just bringing those shapes in together at the back there. You can really do whatever you want with these wires at the top. I just thought I'd try something a bit different. So this is a different and interesting bale I'm going to be doing for a change. I'm just going to tip those out. And then where the wires come together, they scoop 
out. And that one there. Can't reach it. I'm going to bend out two. So on the back here where those two wires meet, I'm just going to use a little bit of weaving wire. So take um, your weaving wire and we're going to wrap three times around one of the wires. Slide that along to where they meet. And I'm going to go around both the wires together. I'm going to go around five times because these big wires are quite tough and my weaving wire is only tiny. And then I'll finish with three wraps around this wire. And then I'll cut that weaving wire both ends. I'm going to give the weaving wire a little pull so it's nice and tight around the wires before I cut it. And then squeeze those ends around. So I'm really trying not to use bail pliers because I don't want to give you a whole list of tools I'm going to need. But I'm going to put little curls in these thick wires and I'm going to need my bail pliers. So I'm going to cut these a little bit. I just want to curl them up a little bit. And I'm cutting them with my old cutters. So I don't want to spoil my good ones. The thicker wire absolutely kills your good tool. So don't use your good tools on the thicker wire. And then I'm just going to curl those wires around. This is just to support the bail bit at the top there. I'm going to have to put bail pliers on the list now. So I've curled that one around. I'm going to do the other one too. So that's what we have so far. So now we'll move on to the weave. So cut your wire lengths to what I suggested at the beginning and now we have nine wires. Now I need to tie all these wires together. This is going to be like our canvas for our little pretty flower picture to appear onto. So we need to weave all these wires together. You can use whatever weave you like. It won't be seen, it'll just be a background. So you can do whatever you like or you can follow me. So we're gonna start about an inch and a half from the beginning of the wires. So that's four centimeters. Don't worry if you slide along the wires while we're weaving, because we'll correct it. So at take the your end. weaving wire, and I know this is a lot to handle, but it's gonna be worth it. Spread your wires out a bit so you can, um, make it easier for weaving so you can see where you're going. And then we'll wrap three times around the bottom wire. So from here all the way up to the top we're going to do the same thing. So you just need to keep repeating the same thing. What we do is we go over two and then we come up between them. And we're gonna do that all the way up to the top. So we wrap around two and it's gonna be a bit tricky to get those two wires a bit close together. So take your time and as we go, it'll get easier and then come up between those two. Then go between the next two. And then around the next two, come up between those, and then around the next two wires, up between those, around the next two, up between those. Nearly at the top, around the next two, up between those, over the top, 
there we go around all the way back down now because we've reached the top as we come back down we're going to wrap around each wire individually so you go around the top wire then you go around the next one so you have to come up underneath the next wire You go come up underneath the next one, go around that wire. So we just go in around each wire. And it really is guesswork looking at the ends of the wires. I say that as I go between the wrong ones, because there's so many. If you want to make this with lesser wires, then you can. You just won't have as many wires to play around with at the end when we're doing our fancy flowers at the end. Oh dear. And then we've got to go around the fourth one. And then around the third one. I think this hand's aching more from just holding the wires. This is going to be a challenge, isn't it? Second wire, bottom wire. So you need to keep pushing your weave together as you go. So what's happening is I'm getting a fan effect. They're coming together here and they're coming apart here. And we need the weave to remain straight. Otherwise the weave it's going to be triangular shaped and I want it to be quite straight but there we go so I'll pull them out at the ends so keep repeating that weave around two and then up between all the way to the top and then around each wire individually all the way back down and keep pushing your weave together as you go I've done the second repeat I found it's a little bit easier if you pinch your wires about here and then fan them out at the end so then you can kind of see your wires a bit easier and it keeps all the wires nice and straight here so I've done a few repeats and it really does make your fingers ache this one we need the weave to sit here so you can see how many repeats you need to do I think we need to rename this one to be like the big weave challenge <laughs> so keep repeating until you reach you want your weave to come across the top here so the corners touch the sides and the corners need to touch the bottom of the frame there on the sides and that's how long your weave needs to be so I've persevered and if you put the weave at the bottom there it reaches the top there so that is for me for my frame that's three a centimeters long match it up to your frame so you've got the right amount of weave repeats and if you've actually done it and you've got this far and you've done this weave well done tap yourself on the back go and put the kettle on and have a break and let your, your hands heal for a minute we just need to finish off this weave with three wraps around this top wire and then take a little break to cut the weaving wire top and bottom and then press the ends down with your pliers so if you look at the short end wires if you've got any wires that have slipped through you can grab the individual wires use the nylon ones grab the individual wires and just pull them back through because you might have like one wire that's fall come all the way through and just pull them back individually like one at a time so looking at the shorter wires first so put your shorter wires at the top we're going to take the outer wires and we're going to bend them out a little so we're going to leave those where they are and then the rest of the wires 
we're going to bend them over to the back. So this is the shorter end wires. We're bending them over completely. So your weave comes right up to the edge and these are bent over, the outer wires are going out. So we just need to squeeze those down as flat as you can without them going off to the side. And I'm going to squeeze them a little with the pliers until they're nice and flat. So they will try and wiggle one way and then the other, but just try and get them as flat as you can. And what we're going to do, we're going to cut them all and then flatten them down. So I'm going to cut them and kind of bend them around into a little loop, I think. We want it nice and small and snug to cut all of the wires off along there. And these are the shorter end wires. You don't want to be cutting off your long wires, not after you've done all that wheel. So we're cutting off the shorter end wires and we're leaving the outer ones. I'm just going to pull them down a little bit. And flatten them down so they're like uh, just bent over nice and tidy. So they're not going to catch on anything. We've got a nice flat finish to the front. So we need just to make sure that's still pushed down. So that's going to be the top. Once you're happy with the top, we're going to do something similar with the bottom. So take the outer wire, outer wires out the two outer wires out, make sure your weave is all pressed together. Now this time we're going to take these longer wires and we're going to bend them forward <coughs> like we did with the earring. I think I'm going to just bend it, I'm holding it flat so that I don't bend the actual weave. I'm just going to bend, bend the wires straight over the front if they'll allow it. Ugh. And as we just did with the other ones, we just need to carefully press those down and they will keep trying to jump to one side and the other. And you just want to get them as flat as you can. And I'm going to squeeze them a little with nylon pliers just to try and get them flatter against that weave. If you did make my um, earrings from the last one, then it's the same again and the e earrings will definitely match this pendant. Keep tipping to the sides, try holding them a bit further down and then squeeze the tops and they're less likely to move. So this is what we have so far. So take your frame and you can see where the two bottom wires are going to grip onto the frame there and the two outer top wires are going to grip onto the frame. So we need to get it in place and we need to hold it as steady as you can and then take those wires over and around the frame and do it on both sides. Don't pull it tight, just get it in place so it holds and then have a go at joining the top with those outer two wires 
so we can adjust it a little if we need to. So once you're happy with that shape there, you can have a go at pulling the wires tighter around and securing it firmly in place. When it sits how you want it to, we can cut off those um, big base wires. So I'm going to cut them, if it'll focus, I'll show you, I'm going to cut them quite small and then just press them around those frames, that frame wire and then squeeze it in place with pliers and you need to keep checking the positioning of the weave because every time you bend or shape one of these uh, securing wires it might move the weave a little bit so press them around have a look make sure it hasn't moved and then press them around to finish it off so it's nice and tight what we have so far So next this is the fun bit. So you can really do whatever you want with these wires now or you can follow me on, on my pre-planned design. So we're going to take these two outer wires and we're going to bring them around. And bring the bottom one down and this one just around to join and then we're going to need a little piece of weaving wire so cut a short piece of weaving wire we're going to attach to this bottom wire here so wrap three times slide that down and we're going to just join where the wire meets the frame so we want to go around the wire and the frame just to tie it in place. I'll go around a couple of times. Oh, I've got a little twist in my wire. And then wrap around the single wire a few times, press it together, cut that wire at both ends and then press the ends flat so they don't snag on anything. So we're going to bring this wire down, we're going to just finish that with a little curl there and then this wire Holding the front in place, we're going to take it around the frame. So this is just like the earrings that we did in the last video. Only we've got a bit more to play with having this frame here. I'm just going to curl that wire back in there. And then I'm going to hold that wire the best you can this one's getting in the way I'm gonna cut this one off so I'm gonna cut this one off quite short and then this one I'm now gonna post that through and around the frame again so I'm trying to bend the rest of the wire and not that bottom shape hopefully pull it around Hopefully it's still kept its shape. And then we bring it all the way around to the front and scoop it back out. So that's going to be a little curl at the top so we can cut that wire there. So I'm going to just finish off these two wires with round nose pliers. 
I'm actually going to cut that one off a bit smaller. So try not to misshape these because we'll be working on those in a moment. I'm just going to curl this wire around into a little curl. And then the bottom one. Whoops. Goes around that way. So hard to hold it and show you what I'm doing. So I'm just pulling that wire around into a little curl. I like to close the curls. And that will sit like that. So that's two wires down. So next I'm going to take the two left wires and I'm going to scoop those over to the left. And then I'm going to take the top of the two wires I'm going to scoop it around quite high like that. Next I'm going to take a little piece of weaving wire again. I'm going to wrap around the top wire at the top here and we're going to join it on there. So wrap three times around that wire. Slide it along into place. And I'm going to go around the wire and the frame. So I like the way it sits outside the frame a little bit there. So I'm going to hold it there. I'll try and hold that tail end as well. And then I'm going to take it around the frame and the base wire. I'll take it a few times to attach. And then I'll wrap a few times around just the base wire. And squeeze it all together. And then we're going to cut the ends off and flatten them down with your pliers. So this wire is just going to scoop around into a little curl there. So we can cut that off. And this bottom wire, I love how these wires come up together. So I'm going to hold that there. Sometimes the wires really do tell you what they're, they're going to do. And you don't have a choice over that. So I'm going to bring that around and I'm going to try and keep those two wires together because I like that. And I'm going to bring that around the frame right at the top there. And then that is going to be a little curl. So I need to pull that around a bit tighter. And then that's going to shape around into a curl there. So I can cut that one off. And I've got two more curls to shape. So this is going to be quite a little one. Pulling it around quite tightly. Press it against the frame. And the top one, I'm going to curl that around. It's quite a long length of wire there. Curl it around quite tight to start with. 
and then I'm going to pull it around into a curl. Push it against the frame. So that's what we have so far. We've got three middle wires left. I think I'm just going to add the beads to the top and the bottom while I've got the chance. So take a small piece of weaving wire and the three millimeter bead. Wrap your wire around the frame. I'm going to pop a bead at the bottom of the weave and a bead at the top. This is going to be a longer video than I thought. So I've coiled around that frame wire, which I know about five times. And then I've got my three millimeter bead. Trying to escape. Gotcha. Pop that in the gap there. And then I'm going to wrap around this side about five times. <laughs> Not doing what I want it to. Gotcha. So we've wrapped around this side five times. I'll just push the bead into the gap there sitting quite nice and snug and I'll cut the wire off at both ends being careful not to cut your base wires and press down the ends nice and flat I'll do the top bead in a moment so I'm going to pull all three wires over to the left a little and then I'm scooping them over to the right We take the bottom one of the three and gently ease it down. And this is going to be our first um, like little petal shape there. I'm going to do quite big ones this time, I think. With the earrings, they were quite small. I think I'll do quite a big shape. So I want it to come down. If I do it... Because I've noticed when you do these shapes, when I do these shapes, they always end up a lot smaller than I want them to be. So if I give it a bit more length, let's see if it ends up, see what size we end up with this time. So I'm bending that wire all the way over. Pull it forward a little bit. And I'm really going to bend that wire flat onto itself. And I'm going to squeeze the wire together. Very carefully in little presses. So you can pull it away a little bit to squeeze that wire flat onto itself. And then when you've done that, we want to open it back up to get that nice point shape on the end there. And I want the point to be facing down, so I'm pulling that down. I'm still trying to open up my shape a little bit. So I'm gonna use my round nose pliers just open it up a little bit more. And then I'm going to shape that wire around. So I'm going to go right to the base of my round nose pliers. I'm going to bring that wire around. I'm going to bend that wire 
twisting it around a bit to bring them together. And we've got quite a nice large shape. I'm going to pull it up a little bit. And I'm going to bend it back to how it was a little. So that's our first shape. So take a short piece of weaving wire because I'm going to add a little bead to the end here and wrap around the base of that wire. few times slide that along to the end there so I like to have a little bead on the end of the flower and it allows us to attach the flower down so we can tie it to something hopefully we'll have to see so i'm going to attach the i'm going to pop the lost it i am going to pop the little tiny bead on there once i've found it these beads are quite pretty they're little seed beads little faceted faceted peridot so that wire is at the back so I want this wire to be at the back so I'm just going to pop it through the middle there if you can hear some strange sounds I think my neighbours are singing and then I'll go back in place then I'm going to wrap a few times around this side to attach the bead. So I've got my bead in place and I've taken this top wire around the frame. I'm just trying to attach that flower down. So we'll go around the frame a few times. So we go up there and then I post it back down again. I'm just going to leave those wires for a minute and I'm going to cut this one and finish off this. Because I want to curl that around about there. Like we did with the earrings to finish off that little leaf or flower shape and pull it round quite tight and then bring it into the middle of the flower try and flatten it up a bit so I'm going to take this wire and I'm going to add coils along this bottom part of the leaf so I can attach this top curl down in place that's my plan and then that'll hold everything down And then when I get to the top, I'm going to go around the two wires together to attach them together. If you don't want to go all the way up there, you can always um, add another piece of weaving wire and just start at the top and attach it to the top. So I'm going to wrap a few times around the two wires and then a few times around the single wire just to attach that top curl in place.
So next, these two wires are going to scoop over to that side. And the bottom wire is going to come down. And the top wire is going to stay up high like that. And doing exactly the same as what we did for this flower, I'm going to add a flower here and a flower here. So I'm actually going to add coils to the wire before I curl it. It makes it a lot easier. And then I need to stop because I can't curl it when it's coiled. So I need to, at least I can add a few to get myself started. I'm going to secure this other wire onto that curl there so it sits next to that curl I'm just going to go around the two a few times and then around the single wire I think I'm going to bring it back a bit so it fills more of this space at the top there. And I'm going to do a flower at the top. I think I'm going to pull it more over this side to try and fill this space here. And then I'm going to attach the bead and tie it down. secure this here I'm gonna attach it to the weave because it's got a bit of movement going on and I think I'm gonna struggle holding it down with just the top wire so I'm gonna attach it to the weave so I'm gonna go through the weave from front to back where I want it to sit And I've gone around quite close to the edge so I can go over the side of the weave and up there and back around that wire. So strap it down to whatever you can. If you can go through the weave, great. You can always go through the weave and then come back through a different part of the weave. I'm going to do that again to make sure it's definitely held down in place. So 
So I'm going to finish this wire by going under through to the back. It's very short. And I'm going to pull it up behind those wires there. And I'm going to go around the frame there a few times. I think I'm going to really turn these holding the uh, the back quite flat because I don't want those to curl out, I want those to stay quite flat. So that's just like a cute little bale, it's a bit different to what we'd normally go for, I think it holds it quite nice. So I need to pop and oxidise it and show you top bead. So I need to pop a bead in the top there. So I'll take a short piece of wire and attach my bead. I've lost it, I'll go and find it and attach it there at the top. So I've it. attached my bead to the top there. As you're wrapping it around, go around the, the two back uh, loops we did with the frame wire. So you're tying it all together. I went around there a fair few times on each side. And then finish off wrapping a few times around that um, curled, the curl frame wire at the back there. And I think that's everything. You must press all these little ends down as well or they'll snag on things. So I think that's everything. I'm going to oxidise mine. So I think I'm going to attach this end bit down as well because it comes away. So I've wrapped, um, just cut a new piece of weaving wire and I'm wrapping a few times around this end of this little flower here. And then I'm just going to go straight through the weave and then wrap back around the flower a few times to hold it in place. There we have it finished. I think it came out quite nice. So I've oxidised mine. If you'd like to oxidise yours, I did a video on oxidising and aftercare. I'll put a link in the description below. So thanks for watching another one of my videos and I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now. So thanks for watching another one of my videos. Please subscribe if you and hit the notification icon if you want to be notified of new videos that I do. Um, please like and comment on this video. And let me know what you thought. If you want to see my written tutorials, they're over on Etsy. You can find the link below. There might even be a link on the screen. And I will see you all in the next video. This is Gracie, if you didn't know. See you in the next one. Bye.